fear of a black student. Repeat a lie long enough and it sounds true and goes unquestioned. Some more niggas in jail than in college. Now cipher. There are 1.4 million black men in college right now, and there are about 840,000 black men in prison. Ivory Tolson, professor at Howard University, 2012. With that said, we out here and been there in droves since different world. Shit, even Cuban Buster got some high learning. Our presence in the scholastic space ain't a new phenomenon. Neither are the awkward growing pains and interactions with cultures you only know from the comfort of your iPod or your TV. The taping that goes on for these getting college educated white males that be wielding power in the workforce is scary as fuck. The culture of watching press conferences where institutions repeat, this is not who we are, we are shocked. For young white males then turn around and demonize young black victims of shootings while the bodies are still warm, keep niggas in their feelings. Yeah, I said niggas more than Joe. I said nigga, Mika. We can race together, but black coffee matters, motherfucker. Yo, why Waka hasn't been officially saluted for turning down a bag on principle is beyond me. Who creates this litmus test of a conscious rapper? If you turn down money on principle, but say nigga in a song is null and void? The black experience is not here just to be a scapegoat for whatever white America can't conceive as children of being capable of. So when Scarborough says, The kids that are buying hip hop or gangster rap, it's a white audience. And they hear this over and over again. So do they hear this at home? Well, chances are good, no. They heard a lot of this from guys like Waka Waka, who are now acting shocked. Black Twitter sees your deflection and misdirect MSNBC and comes for you with hashtag rap albums that call slavery and for SAE with SAE hates me. So for the short-sighted victim blamers, I present my fear of a black student shit list. 82, University of Cincinnati chapter suspended after it organized a racist party around Martin Luther King Jr.'s B-Day. The fly is read to bring a canceled welfare check, your father, if you know who he is, and a radio bigger than your head. 92, Texas chapter hosted a jungle fever theme party that featured blackface, grass skirts, and slave hunts. 2000, Oglethorpe chapter threw bottles at black athletes and yelled racist shit during a cross country meet. 09, Valdosta State University, yo, they chapter flew a Confederate flag on its front lawn. 2011, Cornell chapter hazed George Desdoon, an aspiring doctor and 19-year-old son of Haitian immigrants to death. He was duct taped, zip tied, and blindfolded, then given enough liquor that he died hours after the hazing. He was found dead by a college cleaning crew the following morning. In December 14, John Hopkins chapter, two members were charged with raping a minor. 2014, University of Arizona chapter, they broke into a historically Jewish off-campus frat and fucked up his members while screaming racist shit at him. Yo, then in December of last year, Clemson chapter was suspended after the frat hosted a Christmas party at which students dressed up as gang members. A month before this chant was recorded, the same chant was being reported as the most popular at the same frat at the University of Texas. So no, Joe, hip hop is not the daddy. They didn't learn this from us, okay? And now you know, and no one's 120 degrees of the cycle. Add on. <laughs>